I am pleased, therefore, to advise that there is every expectation that 2011 will see marked improvements. We anticipate that the economy will grow by 2 to 2.5% this year, and the turnover will result from, amongst other things, <coughs> increased inward direct investment, resulting from a restart of some of the many stalled investment projects scattered around the Bahamas, new investment inflows, significant scheduled and uh, funded public infrastructure investment, inclusive of the continuation of the Linden Pinlin International Airport development, the largest public sector project <coughs> ever undertaken in the history of the Bahamas, the new port at Arawaki and its associated works, massive infrastructural upgrades in New Providence, expanded healthcare infrastructure at Princess Margaret Hospital, Duran Memorial, and elsewhere in the Family Islands and in New Providence, new ports and bridges in some Family Islands, and public sector office complexes, notably in Abaco, Grand Bahama and here in the Providence. And the increase in visitor arrivals and visitor spending. And growth in domestic credit with improving economic conditions domestically, leading to increased commercial and residential construction. We therefore anticipate that unemployment will decrease this year, but more significantly in the following year. I should acknowledge, however, a possible cloud on the horizon. Economists are predicting that crude oil prices will trend upward this year, surging from about $80 per barrel to about $106 per barrel by, two, by July of this year. This trend has obvious implications for the price of gasoline, the cost of electricity, the current account, the government's fiscal operations, and the broader economy is a trend that we will watch closely and seek to take appropriate measures to minimize the financial fallout. Such measures relate to adopting various conservation measures to minimize cost, something that both business and individual households should also do.